In the heart of modern San Antonio lies the oldest house in Texas, the Spanish Governor's Palace. This historic edifice, completed around 1749, is not just a building, but a narrative in brick and stucco, telling the story of Spanish colonial life in Texas. Hi everyone, Ken here. Hit that subscribe button and let's go explore this house. The palace was once part of the Presidio San Antonio de Bar, a Spanish military installation established to protect the growing Spanish settlements in the area. This Presidio, founded in 1718, was a crucial element in the Spanish defense strategy in Texas. It served as a companion fort to the San Antonio de Valero mission, more famously known as the Alamo. By 1726, the Presidio was a bustling hub with 45 soldiers and a growing civilian population, totaling around 200 Spanish settlers. Its strategic relocation placed it across the San Antonio River from the Alamo, cementing its role as a central defense point. The Spanish missions were more than religious outposts. They aimed to convert, re-educate, and integrate the native population into Spanish colonial society. These missions were vital to the efforts of the Spanish crown, serving both religious and geopolitical purposes. Originally operating as the Comandancia, the residence and office of the captain of the Presidio, the building later became the abode of the Spanish governors after the capital of Spanish Texas moved to San Antonio. This transition marked the building's transformation into the Spanish governor's palace, a name that resonates with its historical significance today. The keystone above the front entrance, adorned with the double-headed eagle from the coat of arms of Spanish King Ferdinand VI, proudly dates the building to around 1749. The palace itself is a marvel of 18th century Spanish colonial architecture. Its U-shaped structure, built from brick and covered in stucco, encapsulates a traditional Spanish patio and courtyard, offering a serene glimpse into the past. Here we can imagine wandering about the tiled walkway through lush gardens flanked by arcades, as we make our way over to the well to fetch fresh water for the day. Our journey through the courtyard is a tranquil escape from the city beyond its walls. As the lines between indoor and outdoor living become blurred, we find a private patio under the shade of a pergola. The exterior finishes continue inside with terracotta tile floors resting below exposed wood ceiling beams. The dining room is designed to be large enough to host grand dinner parties in the light of a flickering fire. Nearby, the governor's staff would have been hard at work in the kitchen preparing meals, making everything from scratch. Taking a closer look, the wood-burning stove and cooktop give us a better idea of what working in the space was like. The palace continues on with large rooms, sparsely but effectively decorated with objects of purpose. As we find our way through, we can imagine dozens of people spread all throughout, working at writing desks and conversing. Being part of the mission, the palace had an education room to further the crown's influence. The first bedroom we will see was perhaps the most lavish in all of Spanish Texas. Though others were simple by comparison, they were still luxurious compared to life outside the palace. As the 19th century dawned, the role of the Presidio San Antonio Bar as a military post waned, with the Alamo emerging as the primary military building. By the early 1820s, the Presidio's significance as a military stronghold diminished, formally ceasing with Texas's independence on March 2nd of 1836. The Spanish Governor's Palace, however, continued its journey through time. Before the city of San Antonio's purchase in 1928, it transitioned from a residential to a commercial building, housing various businesses, including a clothing store and a school. Today, the Spanish Governor's Palace stands as the oldest European residence in Texas. Carefully restored in 1931, it now operates as a museum of Spanish colonial history, adorned with period pieces that echo the life and times of its colonial past. In the bustling, modern streets of San Antonio, the Spanish Governor's Palace remains a silent, yet eloquent reminder of the city's deep-rooted Spanish legacy, a legacy that continues to shape its cultural and historical landscape. Which part of the Spanish Governor's Palace was your favorite? Let me know down below in the comment section. And while you're there, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an exciting episode of This House.